I believe that there is a such thing as evil, and I was a victim of that. On November 13th, 1974, the house at 112 Ocean Avenue, Amityville, became the site of a notorious mass murder. I didn't want to be the Amityville horror kid. I've been running away from it, and it finally caught up to me. Very shortly after moving in, the Lutz family claimed to have begun experiencing mounting paranormal phenomena. When I went in there, there was probably four or five hundred flies. And we're talking, this is mid-December in Long Island. The entire family is standing there watching the garage door slam up and slam down. And the dog is hanging himself. I had to speak to George in Sir. But at that point, he was your stepfather. So you don't want to call him dad? You're not my father. He lived with adults who believed in the occult. You married this guy. You moved me to his house. What the hell is he into? They got very deep with something dark and something evil that they totally didn't understand. Satanic history, devil worship, mind control. I was possessed by a spirit that I could not get rid of on my own. I didn't care if the priests were beating me, performing exorcisms on me, which, if I'm not mistaken, they don't want to talk about. When the stories start to change, then it's time to become suspicious. The sensation felt by Steve Petropoulos, our cameraman, he was overcome by something. This is one of the pictures that their photographer took that night. There were no children and no animals in the house that night. We remember bits and pieces of experience, but we'll fill in the gaps in our memory. Maybe this is just manifestations. Maybe you imagined all of this. I just wanted somebody to believe me. Show me the evidence. What took place in that house was a, a true personification of evil. 